Black Turtles. Hey guys, it's your boy Countable Max right here. Um, as you saw in the beginning of this video, um, I have a signature now. Um, comment below if you like it or not. Um, trying new stuff out. Um, I did try to edit this video a couple times. It didn't work out so well. <laughs> um, anyways, so today I'm going to be doing another Q&A. And, uh, and then towards the end I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, about my workout um, schedule and what I've been doing and what I feel and about it. And yeah. So, and it, this this is like I'm gonna go from like non like trans related sort of stuff to trans related. So if you wonder why I'm not doing your question right away, that's why. All right. So the first one, the first question is my favorite thing to do by my friend Momo um that is my favorite thing to do I have to say depending on the season to play playing basketball soccer and hanging out with friends um second question is uh, my first video game I played. The first video game I played was Sly Cooper and the Band of Thieves, um, on my PlayStation 2, and that was fun. I, I was, like, addicted to that game, like. Next question is my favorite type of music, and that is... <laughs> Country music. Uh, big surprise to all of you. Um, I just kind of, like, I listen to both. I grew up with both, pop and country. But I feel like I'm more related to country because, like, it's about family and loving family and sitting around campfire, drinking beer and and wine and whatever and soda water whatever and I just think it's like pretty chill and kinda explains how I feel most of the time alright now we're gonna move on to the trans related um questions alright first one is my biggest fear my biggest fear was spiders, but that was when I was like eight, six. It still a little bit is my fear, but not as much. I have to say my biggest fear is losing my loved ones and my girlfriend and my mom, especially. Because without her, I don't think I'd be where I am today. Um, literally, because, you know, I couldn't be able to ride here and <laughs> kidding um I wouldn't be the greatest person in the world and I want to thank my mom for everything that she's done for me thank you mom the next question is from Emily Lake and it is what is it like being trans um I have to say it's nice it's awesome. It feels good um, being this person that I always kind of not like. I've always been destined to be. Um, I'm not. I'm only like 13, so I mean, it's not that. I'm not. I haven't done anything yet, except get a binder. But still, that's a step closer to the man I'm going to become. And it's kind of, it's kind of, I'm looking for a word. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's, 
it's kind of like a cool feeling and I just I just love who I am now and I'm, I am on this road and I'm gonna stick on this road because there's no turning back not now not ever all right so the next question question is do I miss Wyndham now I lived in Wyndham for a little while. I'm in Wyndham right now. Um, and yes, I do miss my old town and my old friends. But I also like my new town. I also like Auburn. and It's kind of cool. I like it. Um, of course, I miss Wyndham. And that question was from Emily Grant. Next question is again from Emily Grant. And it's, how did I pick the name Max? Um, I picked the name basically out of a hat. Um, I, I just really liked how the name fit me. Um, I was gonna go with Ryan, but I don't, I don't feel like a Ryan. I feel like a Max. Um, and it's kind of cool. Uh, and... I just feel like, even though, like, I've known two dogs that are named Max. Actually, another one that coming, they came out with a movie, Max the Hero. I love that movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I love it. Um, I just like the name. Really. The next question is from my friend Ariel Martin. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, and it's... Would you date a transgender girl? Well, one of my very good friends is a transgender girl. And I am pansexual as well as transgender. And um, so I feel like as long as you have a nice personality and you're a decent human being, I don't care what you have in between your legs. I don't care what you have up here. I don't care. Like, if you have a nice personality and you're a decent human being, well, like, you're awesome. Alright, next question is again from Ariel Martin. Um, actually, no, we're gonna skip right over that question for right now. It goes back to my friend Emily. Emily's like... Um, are you supported by your full family? Well, let me tell you. Part of my family doesn't, my mom's side, most of my mom's side doesn't know I'm trans. So they still call me Victoria and your little girl and why do you have this haircut? You look like a guy. It's like, well, I feel like a guy. I am a guy. But I can't tell you because you shunned me. Um... Anyways, so, wouldn't you try and say that? It's like nasty. Anyways, um, so, I am supported by my father's side of the family. Um, I believe. I'm supported by both my parents, all three of my parents, actually. Um, and it's kind of nice having, you know, just family. Um, we're just gonna go right ahead. Um, this next one is again from Emily Lake. Damn, girl. Um, do you plan... Never mind, we will skip right over that one because I am going to answer that one later. So, um, actually no. Do you plan to be 100% male someday? I'm going to give you a short answer because I'm explaining this later in the video. No. Um, again, from Emily Lake. Um, do you feel like you fit in? Well, it depends on the environment um, that I'm in. Like, at school, um, I feel like I fit in because I feel like all my teachers... Almost all my teachers support me, and I have a lot of friends at school that support me. Um, most of my team supports me, and it's kind of cool. Um, I don't, I 
I haven't tried to play any sports, like sign up for any sports, since I've come out because I don't know how to play baseball or softball, and I don't know what the rules are with trans men and, and trans women in the school for um, sports. I think if you have like um. I think if you have a penis, you have to play baseball, and if you don't, you have to play softball, or you have to play girls this, and you have to play guys this, and I think it's discriminating. Anyways, so that's that, um, but it really depends on the environment if I fit it, if I feel like I fit in. Um, this next one is from, again, Emily Lake. Um, are you happy about the 50 states having, basically having gay marriage legal? Yes, yes, I am. Um, this is a really touchy subject. Not really touchy, but it's a really cool subject. And, um, I, I really, I really feel like everybody can just join as equals right now. And not just worrying about like if Maine is legal and then going traveling to another state and having it not legal so you have to pretend that you're not married to that person you don't have to worry about that anymore you can marry who the hell you want you can marry a freaking dog I believe but I don't know why you would do that because that is really creepy um you can marry a mustache my dad's going to marry his mustache, probably, <laughs> because he needs to shade it. Um, but that answers that question. That that's I really I really am happy because that's that's a really that's a really cool thing that like the Supreme Court did and President like signed off on like that's one of the cool things that the United States has done so far all right and this last question is a mix from Ariel Martin and Emily Lake they both had pretty much the same question um do you want to have surgery one day and become a full male Um, one day, alright, so, this is my plan. Get on testosterone, maybe get on hormone blockers, depending what age I'm at. Um, hormone blockers, testosterone, upper body, upper body surgery, which is... Basically, getting my boobs shaved off. Um, not really shaved, but just taken off. And I can wear shirtless. Shirtless. I have to wait for the scars to heal and everything. Um, and it's going to hurt like hell. But you know what? I'm ready for that. I'm going to be ready for that. Um, so, um, hormone blockers. Testosterone. Upper body surgery. Hysterectomy, I believe. I believe that's the word I want to use. Those are all the surgeries that I want to get. Um, you may be saying, well, why not become a full male and get the penis? Well, you don't have to be a full male. Like, a penis doesn't make you a full male. Just to let you know. Not to be rude, but... Um... I'm not com... Like, this is a really touchy subject. Um, I really don't want to get bottom surgery. Um, because I don't think it's important. I mean... I just don't think that you need a penis or a vagina to 
be that full gender. Um, I feel that as long as, like, nobody's gonna look down there. Um, so, I mean, why, why just, why get it? I mean, I don't, I just don't feel like I need to get it. It's not a priority. Maybe I'll feel different, but I don't, I don't think so. Um, oops, camera fell over. Um, but that's that subject. Um, if you have any more questions, please private message me on Facebook or Instagram or comment down below on YouTube. Subscribe as well. Um, and that's about all I got for you people. Um, and you saw that I was around in different locations around my house. Um, I wanted to just mix it up a little today. Um, so, yeah, I think that explains it all. So, peace. Peace, love, and happiness. Cause y'all are perfect!